welcome back to Primitive Organic Garden. Today is the 17th of June. It's a nice warm day, about 89 Fahrenheit. Full sun at the moment. Might be getting a little bit of cloud cover, scattered thunderstorms later today. Still had to water. Found this praying mantis hanging out in the shade on some popcorn. Um, why would you plant corn in the shade, John? Uh, this was kind of low-end real estate because it's in the shade. Um, I didn't really plant the popcorn because I'm dying to have popcorn. I planted it so that I could have some steaks for my pole beans. You can see there's pole beans climbing some of the corn here. That's mainly why I just planted this. I just didn't feel like putting steaks in the ground. Plus, it'll be nice biomass for compost, but if it puts on an ear or two, that's just icing on the cake. But yeah, I mean, seeing this praying mantis was possibly one of the coolest things I've seen out in the garden lately. Looks like a pretty young one. I don't know much about praying mantises, but they sure do look cool, and they are beneficial insects. They're great predators. It's hard to really get a couple good shots of this guy. He's hanging out under the leaf now. He knows I'm photographing him. He's not very photogenic. Anyway, I plan on making a full uh, garden update at some point this week. Now it's going to be rushed because I just ran in the house and grabbed my phone real quick. I've been picking lots of squashes around the compost pile. Um, I got some winter squashes and pumpkins coming on. Here's a big old pumpkin vine coming out of the corn patch. Still got lots of kale. I'm trying to keep that all summer. The kale and the chard and see if I can overwinter it till next year. Got another pumpkin vine over here. Huge squash. Quite a few sunflowers. The banana melons are doing really well. I built this little makeshift kind of trellis for the peas earlier this year and I just decided to let the uh, banana melons kind of colonize it. Banana melons are in the uh, same varietal grouping, I suppose, as like cantaloupe or honeydew. It is Cucumis milo, but uh, they look kind of like cucumber plants to me. But uh, that's also in the same genus, Cucumis. But anyway, really excited to, about the banana melons. Got some more banana melons over here. I had to build this little bamboo trellis for them. Banana melons look like they're doing pretty good. Got this huge Swiss chard left over from the winter I need to eat. My leek is going to seed my giant leek. Been eating a lot of garlic out of here. Got another cucumber vine over there leaning on some corn. The chicory and the wildflowers are about done for the year. Um, okra is finally starting to come up. This has been one of the worst years for okra I've ever had. It's been a very cool spring and cool early summer. Uh, pepper plants are doing fine. This Cherokee purple, one of the branches collapsed under its own weight, so I'm air layering it with a coconut core hanging basket liner and some potting mix on top of the brake. Uh, hopefully that'll root in a couple days. I pruned it so that it'll uh, lose less water through evapotranspiration. This little bed here is looking pretty good. I'm letting all the wildflowers kind of fall and just be uh, living mulch. And uh, this will be a great no-till bed for the fall with all this insane biomass. I'm not going to have to fertilize or weed. I've got another Cherokee purple plant hiding over here. Uh, some more squashes. Been picking tons of tomatoes. Peppers are all coming on finally. More pumpkins, more peppers, more peppers, peppers, peppers. Picked four cucumbers off of this monster today. Uh, it's one of the biggest cucumber vines I think I've had. Got a squash underneath it, some more peppers. Uh, I got more peppers than I know what to do with. I planted 15 pepper plants this year. I got some uh, big Bertha peppers coming on here. I got plenty of the uh, pepperoncinis. I got bananas, cayennes got peppers for days. I've been putting a couple uh, drops of grapeseed oil in each of my rain buckets to kill all the mosquito larvae. It's been working really wonderfully and it's cheap and environmentally friendly. Got some more cucumbers. This is what I'm most excited about this week is the sunflower plants. I mean that is just, that just makes me want to live right there. Planted this from seed, you know, a couple months ago and it's south facing gets lots of sun, it's very warm next to the shed, it's been mulched, it's been a no-till bed for at least four or five years, and I mean, I've never seen a sunflower that big before. This is Mammoth Russian, but it's third or fourth generation seed that I've saved 
you know, every year I grow mammoth Russian sunflowers and I pick the biggest, healthiest one and save seeds from it every year. And this is at least the fourth generation or so of South Carolina swamp selected mammoth Russian sunflower. And it just looks dope. Got some more sunflowers over here. I'm pretty excited about this uh, burgundy one. It's beautiful. Some more standard ones. But uh, yeah, they're massive this year. And again, this is just seed that I keep saving every year. Save your own seed every year, y'all. Uh, Turkish eggplants are doing good. More peppers, peppers. Casper eggplants are doing good. They require a lot more water than I realized, but they do tolerate high temperatures. Anyway, this wasn't like a garden video I planned because it's right in the middle of the World Cup game. I was just watching the Mexico game against Germany and like Mexico had a 12% chance of winning and they pulled it off. It was an amazing game. And I really enjoyed that. There's a little cayenne. Um, and the next game, Brazil, Switzerland is about to start in a few minutes and I don't want to miss it. I just came out here to water a couple things that were wilting and I saw that praying mantis and I was like, you know, I have to go inside and get my phone and take a couple pictures of that praying mantis. And then when I was out here taking pictures of the praying mantis, I remembered that I hadn't done a garden video update in probably a very long time and uh, it's been at least probably two or three weeks since I did one and so much out here has changed and there's so much stuff I've harvested since then and so much work I've done infrastructurally and so I just wanted to get out here and make a very quick video update probably no music on this one. Oh, finally some ochre plants come out here every couple days and just throw ochre seeds just handfuls of them throw them and I uh, haven't seen a whole lot of ochre this year, but good that that's finally coming on. Got some oregano and different basils and all that's doing pretty good. Couple of blueberries I need to eat, but anyway, uh, thank y'all for tuning in today and glad y'all got to see that praying mantis and hope y'all are having an awesome, you know, garden season. Everything's going good out in your garden. It's been a weird year weather-wise for a lot of people, but uh, you know, at this point in the year, I'm just pretty much harvesting and doing you know, lawn maintenance and weed whacking because all the crops are in the ground and everything's producing. I just gotta come out here and harvest and pull weeds. And I don't even have to pull weeds for the benefit of the crops at this point. They're all past their critical weed free period for the most part. You know, everything's producing tons of food. The only reason I need to pull weeds is just to keep the HOA people happy, worried about all their, you know, aesthetic nonsense. But in terms of uh, production, you know, things are just chugging along here. So. Thank y'all for tuning in and hope y'all are having a great weekend, Father's Day weekend. Do something for your dad out in the garden, build your dad a new raised bed or buy your dad a new chicken or do something for dad this weekend, help him out in the garden. Alright, see y'all next week.